Greetings. On behalf of the U.S. Green Building Council and Missouri Gateway Chapter, thank you for signing up to participate in the Green Schools Quest. My name is Hope Gribble. I'm the Green Schools Manager for the chapter, and I manage the Green Schools Quest program with the assistance of our volunteer-based Green Schools Quest Committee. If you have any questions throughout the school year, please reach out as I'm happy to further connect with you. We have a nice mix of repeat and first-time participants this year, and we've worked to keep both of these perspectives in mind when developing this introduction, as well as the resource materials. Our goal is to get everyone on the same page and ready to hit the ground running in October. In this video, we'll begin with a quick review of program basics and a grounding in what is meant by the term green schools. Then we'll orient ourselves with some initial steps for getting started. We'll touch upon noteworthy aspects of this year's program. We'll review the final submission materials and awards, look at some of the available resources, and lastly, we'll touch upon how the Green Schools Quest connects with a separate statewide recognition program called Missouri Green Schools. So let's dive in. Launched in 2013, the Green Schools Quest is an annual challenge issued to K-12 schools throughout our region to implement student-driven sustainability projects with the help of green mentors. Every school, mentor, and project is unique. Some schools enter the quest with a specific project in mind. Others are wide open and invite direction from their mentors. Regardless of their starting point, all are in a position to take meaningful action towards creating greener, healthier learning environments and communities. Green Schools Quest projects run the gamut from outdoor learning spaces, native plants, food gardens, and stormwater management, to recycling and waste minimization, to improved indoor environmental quality, water and energy conservation, to the creation of green teams and the development of sustainability plans, and so much more. The beauty of sustainability is that it's so broad. Though it can be helpful to have some buckets to work from, a common definition for what is meant by a green school to serve as a frame of reference for venturing on this path. These three areas or pillars are emerging as a common definition for green schools, which is being used throughout the US and abroad. Green schools strive to reduce environmental impact and costs, improve health and wellness of students and staff, and provide effective place-based education, leading to increased sustainability literacy. These outcomes are brought to life within a school by implementing practices throughout the campus, which includes the school facility, surrounding natural environment, and the resources that flow through the school, such as energy, water, paper, and food. The curriculum, connecting people, place, and purpose through educational programmings during the school day, as well as via extracurricular activities. And the school culture and community, the shared values, social norms, and practices within the school. It can be helpful to think of each of these areas as pathways for infusing your projects into the school. The more pathways engaged, the more staying power the initiatives will have. For instance, if the Green Schools Quest project is focused on waste diversion, you can address the campus by placing recycling bins and signage next to all trash cans creating consistent waste stations throughout the campus. The curriculum facet can be addressed by encouraging teachers to work the topic into their curriculum, such as engaging students in a waste audit, introducing books about the recycling process for younger learners, or arranging a field trip to a local landfill or recycling center, which can be super impactful. And lastly, you can engage students in creating a culture within the school where recycling is the social norm through creative messaging, including in school announcements and newsletters, or by recognizing individuals who are going above and beyond in the effort. Again, regardless of the project type, the more pathways you use to infuse your project, the better. Nearly 200 schools have participated in the Green Schools Quest thus far, many for multiple years and thousands of individuals have been impacted. As you can see on this map, a majority of the participants thus far have been located within the St. Louis metro area, 
One of our current areas of focus is to enhance participation throughout the state, especially in smaller towns and rural areas. We are excited to continue to work collectively to grow school sustainability across the region and the state. And we really appreciate you for being part of this. We also appreciate our annual Green School sponsors who support this program and our ability to pass along cash awards and prizes to winning schools. Top of mind right now is likely, how do we get started? Schools and mentors are paired via email at the start of October each year. October 1st falls on a Saturday this year, so we will be pairing schools and mentors on Friday, September 30th. When determining pairings, we utilize information provided from schools and mentors via the registration forms and do our very best to match mentors' areas of expertise with schools' project interests. The pairing email includes a welcome letter which outlines the next steps and links to all of the program resources within one document. This is something you want to keep handy throughout the quest. Also available are checklists for both school leads and mentors that outline specific steps for getting started, as well as ongoing tasks to keep in mind throughout the quest. Because each school, project, team, and mentor is unique, the support that a green mentor provides varies. With this in mind, we've created an outline of ways for mentors to engage. We recommend that the school lead and mentor review the ideas listed here and mutually determine the best form of support that the mentor can provide this year. Now let's touch upon some noteworthy items for this school year. For the 2022-23 academic year, we are returning to the traditional pre-pandemic format in which school mentor teams engage in one comprehensive six month long project and turn in a final submission at the conclusion. Projects must be new initiatives or major expansions of existing initiatives. Submission materials are reviewed by a panel of judges and winners are determined in elementary, middle, and high school divisions. In addition, five spotlight awards will be presented across all of the age categories for Rookie of the Year, Sustainability Champion, Focus of the Year, Innovation, and Judge's Choice. Winners receive a cash prize and or trophy. Here's a snapshot of the program schedule. Participating schools will work with their green mentors to engage in their sustainability projects from October through March. Final submission materials are due March 15th. Winners are announced in April and awards are presented at individual schools in May. Each year, the Green Schools Quest Committee des designates a focus of the year theme as an optional area of focus for participants who would like to be considered for the focus of the year spotlight award. Themes are selected to reflect current issues, both locally and globally. This year's theme is climate action. While teams may pursue any sustainability project they'd like, a resource highlighting climate action will be provided at the start of the quest, which briefly introduces climate adaptation versus climate mitigation, and highlights three key areas for making meaningful climate action, energy, food, and community voice. To be considered for the Focus of the Year Award, schools must submit a brief narrative describing how their project relates to climate action in their final submission materials. As previously mentioned, the final submission materials are due March 15th. They are then reviewed by a panel of judges and award recipients are determined. The final submission materials include an online form that collects basic school and project information, a maximum five minute digital, digital presentation, a one to two page written report. Note that there is no specific format or template that needs to be utilized for the report, though we recommend teams reference the evaluation criteria when putting their reports together and photo release forms for any students who are pictured. 
There is also an optional baseline self-assessment that takes about 30 minutes to complete and can earn you an extra five points. This self-assessment is a tool from the Green Schools Quest sister program, Missouri Green Schools. Missouri Green Schools is a new statewide recognition program currently in its pilot phase and managed jointly by USGBC Missouri Gateway and the Missouri Environmental Education Association, or MIA. The self-assessment is aimed at building awareness of holistic measures that schools can take to chart a path towards whole school sustainability. It's also a great tool for identifying project ideas. The final submission form is live and available on our website. You can access it at any time to see what information is requested. The rubric, the rubric is also publicly accessible and linked to in your welcome letter. Under the additional points section, you'll see five points are available for teams that have explored and incorporated into their project at least two principles from the rainbow of sustainability. These principles are importance of place, interconnectedness, respect for limits, systems thinking and cycles, social justice, and global citizenship. The rainbow of sustainability is a tool for applying the lens of sustainability to a project or curriculum. In a separate video titled Applying the Rainbow of Sustainability, two members of our Green Schools Quest Committee introduce the framework and share examples of how it can be applied. Please be sure to view this video next. Cash prizes and trophies will be awarded to first, second, and third place winners in elementary, middle, and high school divisions. Additionally, each Spotlight Award recipient will receive $100 cash. Winners are announced at our annual Green Schools event in April, and then members of our chapter leadership and Green Schools Quest Committee present the awards to schools in early May. In addition to the getting uh, starter documents that I shared at the start of this intro, there are a number of resources available to support teams along their journey, including our classic 101 Ways to Green Your School, as well as a new project list of ideas which is currently in the works. Past project submissions, which you can view to gather ideas. Uh, these include compilations of videos that are posted on our website, and on our YouTube channel. And we'll be hosting several Connect on the Quest virtual gatherings and mentor meetups throughout the year. This year, resources shared through the Connect on the Quest series will be focused on climate change action. We hope that you can join us as we believe these sessions will be valuable opportunities to learn and connect with other participants. Dates are listed here. Plus, you'll receive an email from me at the beginning of each month, which will include any upcoming events and resources to be made aware of. The last thing for us to touch upon in this introduction is connecting with Missouri Green Schools. Whereas the Green Schools Quest takes a project-based approach, Missouri Green Schools takes a systems-based approach towards creating holistic, school-wide, and long-term sustainability. It's an ongoing program that supports growth through engaging individuals across a broad range of roles throughout the school who work together then to track and advance sustainability practices, ultimately cultivating a culture of sustainability at the school. Again, this new statewide recognition program is co-managed by USGBC Missouri Gateway and the Missouri Environmental Education Association. It offers four levels of recognition ranging from recognizing emerging, progressing through advanced levels of achievement. We are currently seeking schools to participate in the pilot of this program, and schools can participate in both the Missouri Green Schools Quest and, uh, or Missouri Green Schools and Green Schools Quest simultaneously. In addition to offering state level recognition, Missouri Green Schools has the conduit for a national recognition program called U.S. Department of Education Green Ribbon Schools. The Green Ribbon Schools program recognizes schools across the country 
that have demonstrated excellence across all three of the pillars that were mentioned earlier. Each state's Department of Education is able to nominate five schools per year to be considered for this prestigious award. Since 2016, we have been working with the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education to facilitate this program in the state of Missouri through Missouri Green Schools. There are four steps to reaching Sprout recognition, which is the first level, and one is completing the baseline assessment, which is already built into the Green Schools Quest. Beyond that, a school would simply need to submit a letter of commitment using a provided template, identify at least one goal which could align with or be actualized through their Green Schools Quest project, and set up an account in the online dashboard that the program uses. Any steps taken to enroll in <clears throat> and be recognized through this program can also be highlighted as accomplishments in your Green Schools Quest submissions. Schools with 60% or greater free or reduced price lunch qualifying students also receive additional one-on-one -on -one support to navigate Missouri Green Schools program, set goals and track progress, and they have the opportunity to apply for small grants of up to $5,000 to implement green projects. Perhaps something to put towards a Green Schools class project. Please reach out to me or visit missourigreenschools.org for more information. Well, this concludes the program introduction portion. Now we do ask that you view the Applying the Rainbow of Sustainability video and check out some of the other videos highlighting past project submissions. Sincere thanks to you for participating. Uh, we have Green Schools Quest participant decals and mentor stickers for each of you to proudly display and we'll be sending these out to you via mail. Best wishes on all that lies ahead and thanks again for your participation. Keep in touch with any questions.